Katrina and this is my channel Create Something Pretty. This is where I like to chat with you about sewing. I also do a little bit of um, knitting and crochet but that's only once in a while. If that's something that you enjoy please stick around and see what I have for you. Today I'm bringing you a makes video. I have three finished items to show you today. Uh, this is actually the fifth time I've shot this video, <laughs> so I'm kind of a bit over it. But uh, I didn't like the other ones. The last one I just did, the lighting wasn't great, so I'm going to give it another go. <laughs> so I have three items to show you. Um, I my the last one actually the one I finished last was and most recent is my favourite. And it's using the recycled jersey that I picked up while we went away and I showed you in my last video. And I am so pleased with it. Uh, this is um, a very pretty little iris tee from Forget Me Not Patterns um, with the little pleat detail. Oh, how do I show you that? Here we go, little pleat detail on the sleeves. Oh, that's better. Um, so, and I also put one of the labels in it from Christian from the Dahlia Society. I've got one of her little labels in it and it says leave room for, no, leave space for serendipity. Yes, I got that right. <laughs> um, I was so pleased with this top. Um, this fabric is so soft and so nice to wear. Um, my machine hated sewing it <laughs> I uh, my sewing machine kept sucking it in and eating it and my overlocker initially did not want to go do any of the overlocking seams um, I don't know if that's the sign that I might need a new blade on my overlocker maybe um, but my sewing machine I had a new needle in it I don't know what its problem was I went in a little from the edge and it still did it so yep I don't know what its problem was, but we got there in the end. I love this. Um, I also cover stitched the hem. I don't know if you can see that. Hang on, let's see if I can get the light to catch it. I think this is one of the better jobs I did. I'm still getting used to using my cover stitch machine. Um, I still haven't had a lesson in it yet. I'm not very great at um, getting the edge because when... I, I don't and it really know what I'm doing. I've just done what I have. Um, I've just given it a go basically without any proper instruction. So when you sew it, you sew it from the top. So you really need to measure in how far uh, you're sewing. And um, yeah, so you're kind of hoping you catch the back. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm doing it right because I'm still learning how to use it. I've only had that since August this year. And uh, yeah, it, it's, oh, it's so much fun to use. I love my cover stitch, cover stitch machine. I have a Juki. It's um, uh, what do you call it? Manual model. I'm not computerized, and it is. Oh, it's so easy to use. It's beautiful. I love my machine. Um, so yeah, that was the Iris T from Forget Me Not Patterns, and I'll see if I can find the line drawings in here. I made the shot sleeve version, which is down the bottom. Um, oh, this is the extension pack. Um, this is also, um, um, so I have the RST pattern and I have the scoop neck expansion pack. The original, uh, the original RST has a much higher neckline. Um, it also has, it has four different options. It has a long sleeve pleat, a, a short sleeve pleat, a plain sleeve um, normal tee and a short sleeve just plain tee as well. Um, so yeah, I really love this pattern. I have made this, I think this is my third time I've made this now. I also have made one in orange, which I will put a pattern in here for you. Pattern, I'll put a picture. <laughs> not a pattern so you to see what how it looked my first one I really wanted to make just the plain version um just to so I'd go with more things um oh and I'm just I'm delighted with it I wear this with jeans a lot as well 
Um, it really is t-shirt weather at the moment. Our summer has not taken off at all. It's You could be uh, forgiven for thinking we were in winter. It has been freezing. There has been snow on the hills. And we're in December. <laughs> I don't understand. This is not right. Oh, it's a worry. I really think it is a worry. I think we might end up getting hit with a really hot summer down the track without a chance to get used to it. So that is my iris tea. Um, I'm going to show you my next item and hopefully I put in a picture of me wearing my iris tea. Can't remember if I said that or not. All right. Um, so this is the Kelly skirt that I made that I put in on Instagram. Um, I, I was not, if you read it, if you read my Instagram, what I wrote, I don't know if you just scroll through and you get like the ones that you like and I don't know if you actually read it I often like, often don't but sometimes you stop and you read things when you like something um I love the color I have wanted a khaki skirt for ages and ages and ages and I just have it just didn't come to the top of my makes list um but it finally got there <laughs> and I use this um uh what's it called uh cotton drill you think after I've done this five times, I know it exactly. <laughs> I need coffee so bad. <laughs> so this is a green khaki colored drill from Spotlight. It is not the softest fabric in the whole wide world. Um, the buttons are from my stash and I still, yes, have not washed the markings off the placket yet. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. <laughs> um, yeah, so I wasn't too pleased with the shape. It's like I ended up making the larger size because my waist is larger but the rest of me isn't um i should have grabbed back in for my hips and then i wouldn't have had so much volume at the hem um i i should uh, i also i have to show you this is there's a reason why i didn't take it in and i probably should have done it i double stitch my pockets double stitch them i double stitch the side seams and that is why I didn't take it in because I was too lazy to undo all the stitching. And I thought, oh, I'll just do a simple hem. I overlocked my hem and stitched it down. And when I should have, before I did this, I should have gone back, undone this, taken it in, and then it would be in a nicer shape for me. It's pretty easy to take it in too. So that was silly. <laughs> so I'll know for next time. Uh, did I show you what's in the pockets? I'm getting louder, I can tell. <laughs> oh dear in the pockets there's flowers so I've got a little bit of pretty pocket linings and that is also why I um, top stitched along the pockets because the lining is actually quite close to the edge I don't know if that if you can see that so I really didn't want the flowers showing. I wanted that to be a nice little surprise inside the pockets. Um, this one, I also put a label on. This is a Kylie and the Machine label uh, made with love and swear words. And there were a lot of swear words. <laughs> because um, I kept pinning myself. I, kept, I don't hardly ever I get pinned. Um, I can have pins on the floor. Everyone else stands on them. I don't. <laughs> touch wood <laughs> um and um yeah with this one just this particular project i just kept pinning myself i kept getting myself really good too <laughs> so um i was glad when that was done <laughs> but no it was um the actual pattern was wonderful i enjoyed every minute making this dress it was just fun nothing was particularly hard um even making the waistband that little bit bigger when you come into so the edges you just you cut it back anyway so it was really quite basic um just making them a little bit bigger i just made the waistband a bit longer that's all i did i measured my waist made sure i allowed for seam allowance and just made it bigger tried it on so, um figured out where it's most comfortable and then i just chopped it and um yeah just made it fit I make it sound so simple don't i <laughs> but it's quite simple so i, I really enjoy making skirts because they're so easy to make and um this you don't have you don't usually <laughs> have a lot of fitting uh, issues so i haven't really made a lot of pants just yet because the fitting issues <laughs> i'll get there eventually so 
So that was my Kelly skirt. Did I show you the line drawings? I don't know if I did. Um, Kelly skirt. This Kelly skirt's had an update recently. This is a really old pattern. Um, it's been updated to have this pleated version. I don't know if you can see those line drawings there. Is there line drawings? Too hard to see. Um, they have the most wonderful deep pockets and the wide uh, waistband. And um, yeah, this now has two different options with this, I think this one and this one. Uh, both have pleats at the waist, whereas the one I made, which was this one, has gathers. And um, yeah, I probably, no, I'm happy with my choice. I think I should have chosen fabric with a bit more drape though. Um, I didn't, I have a really nice rayon that I purchased from Spotlight. I couldn't find it. <laughs> I don't know what I did with it. I've got a feeling it's, um, yeah, I'll find it. I'll find it. I'm, I would really like to try and make this again in um, something a bit drapier. So, yeah. We'll see how we go. I might get to that eventually. I, I have so many things I want to make. Um, so that was make number two. Um, make number three is this dress. This is the McCall's M8088. Um, and it has three views. It has a nice long... Oh, this looks so nice. But for me personally, I'm not a huge fan of the high-low. It doesn't really suit me. Um, I like this. This is the one that I made. Um, this does have the little drop bit on the hem. It crosses over. They all have um, pleats at the waistline, which is great to disguise if you have a bit of a tummy, which I definitely do. <laughs> um, yeah, so I made that. They, they also, can you see this? It ties. It has a little tie at the back. It comes down the back and ties. Um, I might not, the version I chose, also has sleeves and I wanted to I've been wanting to make a sleeve dress for quite some time so I made this one this is using rayon yeah really pretty rayon fabric from spotlight uh, I had seen this fabric doing the rounds on Instagram and I love it it is so beautiful I'm pretty sure I picked this up on a sale where it was 50% off and um, I I had to get it. I think I had two meters. Um, and I don't think I had a lot left. There might be, I think I've got a little square like this big <laughs> left. And I'm, I'll have to figure out what to do with that. Um, so yeah, I'm quite pleased with this one. Um, it was a little bit of a challenge to make this dress because uh, being a big four patterns, I, oh, I have to explain to you. Do you uh, I don't know if everyone knows what big four patterns are. Um, Butterick, McCall, Simplicity, basically these um, are a new look. I always forget new look. They, 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 these are basically commercial patterns and this, they all have this little tissue paper. Um, yeah, they're the big four patterns and they are known for not having wonderful instructions. Um, I think they're getting better. I don't know but I always have problems with them because of they don't have great um, the measurements they don't have the finished measurements and I use the finished measurements every time I sew um, I need to know because uh, I don't have your average shape body um, I've got a small bust I've got big hips and I've got a big waist as typical of a 40 year old um, my waist is usually a bit bigger on the pattern like I'll be I'll just work out my size here um, so my bust is a 20, my hips are a 22, and if there was a 24, my waist would probably be that. But in a lot of patterns, I don't normally need to worry about my waist, so it's not always a problem. But some patterns, I need to I need that measurement. Um, I just find their finished measurements um, are very lacking, and I don't really understand it sometimes. Um, they'll say... The length or the width at the base of hem and sometimes I don't know what that means I don't understand but I understand the the bar so I know I know enough to make something so anyway so I made this dress and I had to uh, I added extra width 
to go around my waist because I was worried that once I cut it, it would be much harder to adjust the waist if I hadn't already put that in. So it would be easier to take out width than it would be to put it in. So I added uh, to the pattern piece, I made my waist, the, the crossover, I made that larger just so that it would wrap properly and it would look as if it fit me. Um, I also had to do uh, quite a big narrow shoulder adjustment on this one. I think I took out about 1.5 in width on the shoulder. And I also had to take out of the back as well, which I did by just laying the pattern piece on the uh, fabric and I just angled it. So it's a very non-technical way of doing it. <laughs> so that's, that was my journey with this one lovely so yeah but i'm happy with how it came out if ever we get some nice weather i might get to wear it <laughs> that would be nice <laughs> um oh and also oh and i have to show you the labels i always forget no i'll put a picture in of this one um this is this one has a label from tied with a ribbon it's a quilting shop in western australia and I believe, now hopefully I get all these details right, she helped to design the label. It's, oh, I can't remember what it says. <laughs> I bought two different designs from her. She helped to design them with another lady from the U US, I think. Uh, but yeah, I'll put their details in. Um, they have such pretty labels. I've been looking at them on, um, uh, I saw them in a vlog somewhere. They had all these beautiful, colourful labels. And oh, when I saw those, oh, I had to get them. So I sent them an email, figured out how I could get them. And so I didn't have to pay extraordinary huge postage. And yeah, I got them from uh, Western Australia. It didn't cost much, much to get them at all. So I'm so pleased with them. They're beautiful. Uh, okay, yeah, that's that's all my makes. Um, I am wearing uh, my Protea shirt from uh, Megan Nelson. Um, I think it's Protea. Protea. I, I figure it's Protea. I'm just going to call it Protea. I like it better. Um, so um, I'll put her uh, pattern, uh, the pattern cover in so you can see what that looks like. Uh, there's top options, skirt options, there's a uh, dress option. Um, there's a tie version, a dress with a tie. I think there's a straight dress version. I can't remember. Uh, and there's different sleeves. There's a straight sleeve. There's a flutter sleeve. And I've got this square neck. This square neck was easy, so easy to put in. This is a, I've done a couple of uh, square necks. And this one, this is the best one I have ever done. Uh, there's also a scoop neck uh, version as well, which is, uh, that one comes up high. Um, so I just, I wanted this one. I think the wide neck looks better on me. Anyway, um, so yeah, so that's what I'm wearing today. I'm also, I don't know if you can see this. Um, no, you can't see it. I'm wearing it with jeans. Uh, no, you can't see that. <laughs> I'll put in a picture of what I'm wearing today. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm wearing today. Uh, okay, so I wanted to say... Thank you to everyone who liked and subscribed to my channel. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I was so excited you made my day. Um, I didn't have any expectations for making these videos. I was just going to make them and put them on, the, on YouTube, see how it went. If nothing happened, I wasn't too concerned because I find it quite, this is a bit nerve-wracking. <laughs> Uh, so um yeah so i was just when the numbers started going up oh oh uh, one it was terrifying <laughs> but two i was so excited you made my day i was so happy thank you thank you thank you and to everyone who subscribed and liked and commented thank you so much for that oh i appreciate you so much oh you're wonderful people <laughs> thank you um uh yeah that was that was a wonderful thing to come home to i think we were away that weekend and we came back and all yeah the internet had gone nuts <laughs> so um yeah i'm so happy that you are interested in what i'm uh, what i'm saying i'm going to try not to yabber on i'm going to try and make these interesting uh and yeah um i also wanted to say 
uh, over Christmas, I um, I may not be doing a video. I'm not sure if I'll have a video right next week because my kids finish on Tuesday and then uh, they're either side of Christmas or I just wanted to spend time with my family. So I don't want to have to be worrying about editing videos and I think it's going to be difficult to do it around the kids. Um, they've also got six weeks off uh, after Christmas. I think it's six weeks um so i'm gonna see how i go getting videos out i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure how that's gonna go but i'll try and get one out when i can um but yeah once they're back at school i don't know what's gonna happen next year we'll see i don't know i can't say that now <laughs> uh so yeah so i may or may not have a video ne next week um so i wanted to say uh, have a Merry Christmas and stay safe. I hope you get plenty of sewing time. I hope you get to do what you enjoy. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful time over Christmas and I will have a wonderful new year and um, stay safe. So uh, if you could like and subscribe, if you like what I've been showing you today, that would be wonderful. Um, subscribe to my channel to see what else I get up to um what else do i need to tell you oh yes comments i will do my best to keep up with your comments um i do i am not quite up to date with how the commenting thing works on youtube i'm still figuring that out i'm not the world's best person with computers but once i've got it i've got it <laughs> i will get there it just takes a little bit of figuring out how all these things work um yeah so I hope you enjoyed my show and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.